Hey guys, Harry here. I'm back again with another Brit Lane vlog. It's been a few days. Uh, I've had a busy week on with multiple things, but uh, back finally. Uh, back into the swing uh, on the new site, back recording again. Uh, mixing it up between, um, you know, third person iPhone camera that you can see here. Um, obviously, I'm sort of limited to where I can set my camera up uh, from. So, you know, you're getting a bit of a bit fuzzy zoomed in footage here uh, but you know it's good enough for you know you guys watching at home depending if you're on a phone screen it won't look too bad probably if you're on like full screen it'll, on a tv it'll look pretty rough but you know um uh, so yeah um hope you guys have had a good week it's friday when i'm currently recording this and i'll be uploading this tonight uh, it's a bit late because just had a lot on uh, at home um my little boy turned two so that's what was going on last weekend and then this week uh it was like my first proper week on site if you know my first week i did about three days uh three days work i had quite a bit of time off that week um because of his birthday and, and uh, we had some vet appointments and then this week we've uh i've done a, i've done four days i've done four days exactly um i completed the gable on that creamy band lift which i called which i titled that series i know it's a bit of a cringy name but hi ho and then i've completed this uh this band lift which i took over at the underside of sill and that was basically it really um this video you've seen today i did all the block work in the inside from sillite it's like six course around the whole house um Basically, I from the previous day, we I finished off uh, that gable on the other on the other band lift. I, I did I've took over, and then I came up here, built the front and two uh, and two and a half block corners. So I only had a block corner and a half to build in the morning, which is of the footage you've seen today. This was on the morning. So basically, I ran one one gable in at the other side, around this gable in, obviously on fit on camera. And then I got all this done in the day, uh, up to the basically top of windows, uh, bar the briquette really. So, um, yeah, so from, if you guys, if I'm going to post some pictures of this uh, at the end so you can see how I cleaned it out today and how, you know, everything was on. I went into work on Friday, but it was raining. Uh, so I cleaned out this plot. It took me half an hour to clean it out. Um with the old man the old man slowed me down a lot to be quite fair because he lobbed all of our spot boards off the scaffold instead of putting them in the tub which isn't a bit inexperienced when it comes to you know loading out for plots loading out for um you know housing you know he doesn't know where blocks need to go um luckily on this site they spray on the floors where we can load as blocks because obviously you know some floors um for some housing firms don't take load very well you know a lot of times they have to ac acro the floors up um because they tend to bow and stuff and you know with high levels of um <coughs> weight on them with all these blocks so that is basically um uh you know that's basically a help for him because it sprays it on the floor where he can load out which he, you know see it's good for him you know it stops him putting stuff in the wrong place because we have arguments all the time if he puts something in the wrong place and I and I say no it doesn't need to be there he tells me to move it and then we argue so you know you know typical stuff but he's my old man at the end of the day he's my father you know I've got to just give a bit of respect there he's helping me out really at 64 um We've got you know a few lads uh, doing a few trial days. Uh, you know one lad particular is looking out full. Um, so you know you might see an odd couple of different people, and you know I saw the comments last video people saying oh you know he's stood there or whatever, but you know you don't you know only seeing a little clip, uh, and a lot of the time uh, a lot of the younger lads who I get you know working with me whether odd carriers is wanting to learn the trade or what. You know, they help me out. They, you know, they speed me up, should I say. They speed me up more than the old man does just because of the sheer speed they can get stuff done. And this is what's underrated, you know. Someone who, who's fast and can graft, who's fit, you know, it, it's worth a lot to you to be able to, you know, train him up. And, you know, you might see me old man pottering around, but, you know, a lot of the time he's struggling to, you know, get everything I need 
when I need it. So I'm having to help him or organise in advance to where, for instance, like, um, I'll give you an example. Uh, Tuesday after this bank holiday, which is in the UK, there's not going to be much, any mortar on site until the PM because um, it's ready mix we're using. So no one's coming in with me that day. It's just a solo day for me and I'm loading the full lift out on my own. Um, we've already got some stacks set out. I've already got, you know, the other, the other, the other lift all fully snagged, all fully altered uh, to where I can just build away now. Everything will be correct. There's nothing I have to knock down or anything. Probably bar alter one, alter a couple of blocks on a silly that'll probably be wrong. That's about it. Um, literally, there's nothing to alter. I don't think at all. I don't even think there's that to alter. So, you know, you know. So I'll get this loaded, this lift loaded fully out on the Tuesday. Gobbo might arrive at two o'clock. I might end up, you know, knocking up a corner with the. Well, obviously the profiles will be already set up and I've got to do stuff like that because the old man wouldn't have a chance of keeping up, getting me gobbo and loading bricks at the same time and then pointing, you know, there's no chance. So um, at the moment, it's not so big of an issue pointing on these these concrete bricks because it takes them a good, after you've laid them, it takes them a good three or four hour till you can actually point them. So if you're going to be, if you're going to be laying, you want to be working all day and just doing the perps. So just do your perps, and at the end of the day, then strike all your beds. And even then, um, probably the stuff you've built in the morning, you might be able to give a sponge or a little tickle of a horsehair brush. But the stuff you do in the afternoon, you'll have to rejoin the, the day after. So, you know, you get, you have a, they have a tendency, these concrete bricks, to when you strike them, you'll strike the joint, but then they'll bulge, and bulge back out. The mortar will sort of, you know, bulge back out because it's wet still. So you have to re-strike them in the morning to get a good finish and you know it's worth doing it only takes an extra 10 minutes um just to re-strike it get a quick brush off it even a stiffer brush in the morning makes a good job as well so that to do uh, but yeah the old man you know he can't keep up really and people you know laugh they think they'll you'll see what i get done in a day i don't lay much of a 600 bricks in a day or like today i did 260 blocks in a day and he had my dad had this loaded out the day previous and he was all on getting me buckets of gobble and jointing back of these blocks there was much there wasn't much more he could do he, he managed to clean the scaffold off a bit but he was you know he was putting some grafting able to do that because uh, of his bad hip and stuff like that so i have to sort of preload things when i lose time and stuff like that and that's why i'm so reliant on getting another lad in whether they're an apprentice or they want to learn the trowel more than be on the hod then i'll have to focus on that and um because as soon as they start spreading jesus it's uh if i get you know one of the lads spreading within a week or two weeks probably max you know basically we're using a tub every hour and a half if they're spreading if we're on good runs because uh, these ready mix tubs are a little bit smaller than you know the ones i used to brim in the silo uh, we'll be using a tub every hour and a half, or, I suppose. Depending if we're on the if we're on the bricks with frogs, we'll probably easily use that. And if we're on the bricks with the holes in, um, probably a little bit less. You probably don't use quite as much gear on the bricks with holes in, um, just because the smaller holes, the more more accustomed to a solid really. But they all go really well with pick and dip. They all play pretty well uh, from what I've seen. Um, you know, can't fault these bricks at all. I know uh, I got. A comment previous about you know Charlie Coyson saying that concrete bricks you know fucking no chance they were laying those but you all have your you everyone has their individual preferences you know um obviously I'm a one on one I don't get through as much gear you know I'm doing a max three tubs a day and I'm probably doing a max of seven eight hundred bricks regularly you know I've done more in the past but I won't be hitting those sort of numbers um you know until I've really been laying these bricks a couple of uh, a couple of months and I've really got my stride into my stride but you know seven or eight hundred bricks in a day Jesus it's you know it, it you know it's still do you know it's still a good earner for any small gangs you know uh, especially at prices we're getting we're getting 650 a thousand at the moment and we're getting 16 pound a meter on the block work for anyone interested um there's a big there is a big sort of uh big thing that fucking youtubers don't want it you know don't want to sort of you know, expose what they're getting, but it's fucking common knowledge. You just go on, you just literally join a Brit Lane Facebook page in the UK, and you know what you know what everyone's paying. Um, obviously, some guys are getting set. I've seen seven hundreds and seven fifties these days, but 
you know, 650 is easily enough, you know, it's, you're getting day work rate just laying 300 bricks, so, um, you know, I can easily do double that, so, you know, you, you, if you're, you know, if you're on price and these rates, you're earning double day work rate, uh, this week, uh, I did four days, like I said, it rained twice, we loaded, we loaded up a little bit, um, so we've only done four days this week, but and I've still earned more than day work rate for I've I've worked, I've earned more than a five day day work rate for for four days. So, and that's going steady. I was going steady this week. I had one day where I worked pretty hard, which was the probably the this day I did the block work. This is the hardest I worked in the rest of the days. I was turning up at eight o'clock. I was doing the after eight bricky again. I haven't had many early ones this week just because the stuff going off at home. You know just. We've been car sharing all week with 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 the missus because um, we've had a lot on. We've just had a lot on your day, so she needed the car. So we've been car sharing um, until she gets her car back. And uh, yeah, it's it's been a hectic week, but we still I've probably and I've been low on sleep probably if anything all week. Probably been getting an average of six hours where I could do a nine. Uh, I'm a fucking sleeper. I need it, um, but it's what it is this week. I'll go go into a little bit of detail about how I lay these blocks. Sorry, it's been a little bit of a broken up commentary, but obviously I've just a lot been going on. Obviously, the last week, obviously, since last video, I've basically had another, I've had a nice another assessment of the site. You know, it's looking a promising earner. Um, I'm about to drop on obviously a you know a, another a sixty brick gable. Uh, square boxes. The only downside is there's obviously step trays on front and back. But I'll make sure I work them step trays. I'll, I'll post a picture in the next video and I'll go sort of into detail about step trays. Um, some guys use block work behind the step trays to get them up a bit quicker, but I'm I'm counting all these lifts on measure. I'm not taking a plot price because I've took over and I'm just counting measure what we've had to do. And it makes more sense laying bricks under your step trays than blocks. You get paid more for, get paid more for four bricks um, than you do for one block. So uh, that's something to think about. I find it easy laying bricks under your step trays. You get a, a better finish on the brickwork when you go into a, another brick at the other side of it and you're building the return out for your step trays. Anyway, um, but yeah, the, um, the oh yeah, tips for these blocks. Let me, let me go into a little bit of detail. I love laying these 440 Thermalites. These are branded name Top Light. They're, they do a Jorox style. I think the Sal can do a 440. Um, but they're all really white, really dry block. Leave these uncovered, even in winter. You not have any problems laying these. Um, on this site, they don't like you going any higher than six cores, five or six cores, and you'd have to risk blow down. But uh, on these band lifts, particularly, I was taking the brickwork right up. So I on these band lifts, there was only uh, there was only uh, two and a half blocks showing above the brickwork. Uh, two and a no two and uh, two thirds of a block should I say, so I had that top tie a brick trapped over that top tie tying in that 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 uh you know that last two course of block, um you know that's showing over the top is tied in and I've only got one uh one obviously course of ties to go all the way through at the top block, under the top block should I say and that just gives it a bit of stability on these top lifts you know it's a bit of reaching but for myself uh you know particularly in a smaller gang it makes a lot more sense to stay where you are reach an extra four or five course or at least an extra four course you know take it you know two above your banders two above your um corner feature bricks and that's it i feel that that's what everyone else has taken them to that's sort of what you know that's a good way to earn when you're on your own and uh, you get an extra day's work out of a lift. So if you're waiting for scaffold lifts on your other, on your other plots, and you don't want to start another plot, because uh, you obviously starting other plots it re requires a lot of loading up. And if you haven't got to raise someone in front, you know it can be a big hassle. So if you want to just where you are, get an extra day or two out of the plot. You know, take it an extra six course all the way around. You know, an extra four or five course. You know, some guys won't reach. I don't mind it. I've got the milk crate. I've got pick and dip. You know, it's it's dead easy. Um, so. You know that's one thing I've been doing. Also, obviously these top white blocks, these four forties, they're easy to pick up with one hand. So I like to join them with the block in my hand, 
Um, one side has the key, one side doesn't. Uh, the side that doesn't have the key on the head joint, it's going to fall off. So make sure you're going to be putting a good good joint on that uh, and then, you know, lifting it up. I like to, obviously, see me putting my trowel on a few times. A lot of the times I keep it in my hand and then I just use the trowel as like a little bit of a guide and poke it up under the line. Um, this is where, you know, as you can see, I put the trowel down. This is where a Bricky's buddy or a trowel mate would probably come into hand, in handy. But as you can see, the boards, because I do have my boards at waist height, the trowel's just right next to my waist. I can just grab it. You know, it's not always necessary to have these these trowel mates, Bricky's buddies. Obviously, me sporting a fucking 45 plus waist. Um, uh, yeah, sorry, I was laughing at a, a message that came up. But, you know, I've got a 45 inch, probably close to a 50 inch waist. Um, it's not all fat. There's a bit of muscle somewhere under there. Um, you know, it doesn't make sense putting extra inches around your waist, having belts and stuff on at my size. You know, I'm I'm 19 st 19 stone on a on a graft on a good day of graft, and I've uh, lost a bit of moisture out of my body. You know, it doesn't make sense me carrying extra weight around with me. You know, I wear all year round. I wear shorts. I wear leggings under my shorts in summer in winter sorry and then i wear thermal thermals thermal like top tight tops under my t-shirts in winter so i try to keep me you know myself as slim as i can um but obviously i've, I've been i've been powerlifting 10 years i've been focused on gaining weight and gaining strength and it's only in the last six months i've really stepped away from training due to injuries um i don't go to a gym as per se i, I have i did do years ago but i've had my own uh, my own barbell and weights and you know, Olympic bar, power rack, you know, four, 350 kilos plus of weights in my garage for the last six or seven years now, six years at least, I think 20, 2015, I got my, my garage set up, yeah, so yeah, we're coming up on seven years, I haven't gone into a gym in seven years, so I've just been doing pure strength training from home, I did a little bout of strongman training for a while, uh, but you know, mainly powerlifting, drug tested, so I'm, I'm one of these that, you know, I, I don't really want to lose a load of weight. I've thought about going down to low weight classes, but I just struggle to I struggle to maintain a a lean physique. Really, you know, I've done it in the past when I was doing my bout of army training at one point when I was thinking of packing Brit Lane in. But the lightest I've ever been is about ninety kilos, and that was I had like a six pack then, and I don't plan on getting down to ninety kilos anytime soon. So I'm gonna be just accept that I'm gonna be a bit bigger. So probably going to hit hinder my speed a little bit over the time but the more efficient i get it sort of forces me to become efficient rather than rely on pure stamina and you know um cardio to really keep my speed um so you know it doesn't always make sense having these these trial mates you know a lot of the older guys as well you get back issues with belts and stuff some older guys with back issues like you know you could be wearing a weightlifting belt instead of these trial mate stuff so you know it's something I, I would like to get to try out but it don't make sense for my my body and my you know circumstance you know um so yeah um that's that's my take on you know lane box i like to do it you know as you can see um i like to gauge my block work out i made a bit of a mistake here um i didn't account for the blocks being different sizes so they're meant to be 440 but you find on 440 blocks even clinkers not just thermalites they tend to come a bit big so you want to give yourself an extra 30 mil above on top of gauge normally for your corners and then you know if you end up do making your joints a little bit big sometimes because obviously when the blocks have a key on it tends to hold more it's hard to grind your joints you know small and especially with the block work being so dry you put that perp on and it doesn't always squish to 10 mil it might be 12 mil and all them 12 mils add up to a good you know 20 30 mil big so you've got to not always go to bang on your, your block gauge make sure it's a little bit smaller than block gauge uh you know a bit bigger than block gauge so you can get them all your blocks in easily with decent joints um but yeah i, I normally I, when i've got a window when i've got windows um i normally joint every two or three course a block just put, it gives a better finish but you know it is drier time of year at the moment so the blocks aren't wet so obviously that'll change if the blocks get wetter and it's ready mix so ready mix always keeps a little bit better i always find it's a bit easier to work with as well when it comes to you know when you're on price especially 
you know, day of work, it don't, it's indifferent. It doesn't matter if you're just getting a set rate. You, won't, you shouldn't be worried about what you're getting done. You should be just making sure it's right if you're on day of work. So, yeah, definitely a fan uh, of these blocks. Um, I, th- I, t- I find I can lay 440s a little bit easier than, than the 640s. I find that it's easy to hit your bond. It works better with your ties. I just find everything. 440 is a lot easier in general for more of a traditional style of block um, as well. Uh, obviously I'm laying these blocks pick and dip so sort of one block spread lay it no grooves because I find you don't even have time to put grooves in these blocks with all your spreads gone off so that obviously changes a little bit in in winter you know sometimes wet blocks you can spread out across them a bit but and on clinkers it's obviously very different um but I just find in general when you're using any mix whether it's block work or brick work you know I find it's just easier to work with you know, you just don't go off as quick on the boards and it's just easier to press your bricks down with ready mix, I find. Also, you just saw me doing, uh, with a, using a stiff bristle brush um, on the box. I've tended to starting to do this ever since last job. One of the managers highlighted that they don't like block smudging on the key, mortar smudging on the key of the block. Something I basically told him to F off about, but, um, you know, I thought it was ridiculous being told that on a footing but it's one of them things that i'm just going to do it on face work now uh and like sort of front side and cavity side just to stop people bothering me you know i don't want any aggro from managers these two guys who are running this job i think they're both gaffers i don't think they're assistant and gaffer i think they're just both managers but they seem pretty sound they're all the two older guys you know they look probably all you know both above 40. So normally, you know, I find all the guys more easy to work with. They understand, they know the fucking crack. When younger guys are, the stegos are fucking too big and they do your fucking head in. Because, you know, they think you're fucking, they think they're better than everyone. But, you know, these two guys on this site, you know, pretty sensible guys, sensible targets, good program. Then, you know, everything's achievable when, and they're not, you're not having a go at you, not rushing you too much. Um, they're all one-on-one -on -one gangs on this site, to be honest. There's two bricklayers on their own, and with a part-time labourer, I think there's two bricklayers and a labourer, uh, you know, like sort of a steadier gang. It's me and the old man, which are sort of just a regular one-on-one, -on -one, another regular one-on-one -on -one with an old guy. Uh, and then another one, another young lad who I know, we're one-on-one, -on -one, but he sometimes is on his own, when labourer is off, so... We're all sort of in the same boat. We're all sort of a similar speed. So everyone sort of gets tread in a similar way. So you ain't got super gangs fucking flying hours up in the background, you know, making forcing management to push program on. So it's fucking, it's a good, it's a good site. It's a good site, simple boxy houses, odd few movement joints here, a few dog legs, but you know, there's none of that train track rubbish in these houses. There's no rendered plots from what I've seen. I'm, I meant to check that actually on uh, on a few of the houses I started, but I don't think there's any rendered, part rendered houses on this job. I've had a look on the, on the in the site office and I didn't see any rendered ones on the pictures. So, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll question that actually next time I'm on site. But um, yeah, they're all good, easy builds, good earners, good rates. You know, you can't fault it really at the moment. You know, I'm earning good money, uh, probably better money than I did on walls and garages to be quite honest at the last firm and I've been sort of dropped on two shitty lifts. Uh, this next band lift has been decent because I've got all cream in it still. But, you know, I've, this first week doing this fucking above above uh, above sill, you know, that's been the shittiest part of a band lift. I've still made good money, so... Um, yeah, I'm going to come off now anyway. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I'm going to... I'll talk to you guys in, in the next video. I've got a bit more footage from that other band, doing that other game on that band lift. I um, hope you guys are enjoying the content. I appreciate all the support. If you like the video, give it a like, subscribe, watch my ads. Give me a bit of support there. Put some hours into making these on a the night. So, uh, you know, all the, pre all the support is appreciated. You know, um, don't give any new lads any sticking comments. Don't like seeing that, you know. They might not be your dobbies or fucking house elf slaves that you've got working for you, your gangs, but, you know, they're good enough for me. So uh, that's all that matters to me. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks all for watching. Um, enjoy your weekend. Hope you everyone's had a, got plenty in this week. Hope we're all in four figures. Hope we're all booking in four figures. And I will see you guys in the next one.
So, times five to five. We've got all this round from basically six course all the way around. Uh, and there's only one course, uh, there's already one course on that, so minus one course. And then, uh, this is, that's counting all those pillars. Everything. Everything, really. Um, had to take off one course off back, one course off front. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good going, really. All, all rickets and bit sills. I only got that corner up yesterday, that corner and that corner yesterday. So I've still ate about 262 blocks today. It's not bad at 160 a block. So all joined to both sides as well. So that's it, but I get off because our last is waiting for us down there. Okay. Hey guys, thanks a lot. I hope you enjoyed the video.